Perseverance is using a steep but smooth exit ramp out of Jezero Crater to get to interesting science targets on the outside. Now it's struggling in a kind of Martian mud and resorting to unprecedented moves to reach its goal. On this episode of Mars Guy. Here's the view from Perseverance after its most recent drive, showing a notably smooth and boulder-free surface. The last time it was on such benign-looking terrain was on the floor of Jezero Crater as it approached Kodiak Butte along the front of the Delta deposit. On that drive, Perseverance managed to go 270 meters, which is very impressive for a Mars rover. Now it's struggling to go a tenth of that distance. So what gives? The difference is that the comparable sand, gravel, and dust deposit known as regolith is not covering the equivalent of a parking lot here. Instead, it's on the equivalent of a ski slope. Here's how this view would actually look with the distant hazy horizon oriented horizontally. The view out back after the previous drive helps show how the regolith on this slope responds to rover wheels. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The answer is that it offers little traction. Perseverance managed to go only 21 meters before getting bogged down. The dark color of the basaltic regolith underneath the thin layer of lighter dust makes it look like mud, but it's truly dry as dust. There's a zigzag pattern in the tracks of the previous drive. These show how the autonomous navigation system was fighting lateral slip to stay on the commanded traverse orientation as it drove cross slope. The view from above suggests that the team may have been trying out a tacking maneuver to lessen the angle of attack on the slope. This did result in a longer drive distance, but with no net advantage toward the ultimate goal. After the meager progress of the following drive, it departed this location driving backward, maybe with the idea that the heavy power generator hanging off the back end would help give the leading wheels more traction. It also drove in a direction that was perhaps intended to seek better footing, or whatever the equivalent is for wheels. The backward drive orientation was documented en route, leading to some really disorienting views. Here's the motor on the elbow joint of the robotic arm folded at the front of the rover, but now part of a view containing wheel tracks looking back. And what a mess they are. The struggle to maintain orientation is apparent, and you can see where the drive started, as well as the zigzags of the drive from three sols prior. The view out front, now the back end of the rover, shows the strange sight of untrodden ground out ahead of the rear wheel. These views are from a point in the drive where Perseverance turned back to a westward tack. After curving to avoid some boulders shed from a small hill, it stopped to do a 180 degree turn and continue on in the normal forward orientation. It's not clear whether this was pre-planned or not. On the ground from the end of the drive, you can see the full traverse, including the first course correction and the curving route to avoid boulders. There's a lot of churn evident in that curve, so maybe Perseverance determined the wheel slip exceeded some threshold and turned around to minimize it. About 15 meters later, it was done, now with the standard untrodden view in front of the folded robotic arm. Unfortunately, that view reveals a long, monotonous uphill stretch covered in the same benign-looking regolith, which, for Perseverance, is like driving in mud.